Chadda. Brought to you by Marix Media and MindSpeak. Hi, I'm Kamal Chadda. And I'm Dr. Dipti Mankar. Welcome, Welcome to, to Anchor, Anchor Together, Together, a YouTube series that casts an exhilarating spotlight on the vibrant lives of shipping industry professionals and their families. Excitement and entertainment is what you get here in abundance. Hello everyone, this is a wonderful, wonderful episode we are bringing you this time. There's a father and daughter relationship we are going to explore and for that we have Captain Derek Vaz and his daughter who is a master mariner already and that's Aisha Vaz. She, she will soon get the title of Captain I'm sure but for the moment she remains Miss Aisha Vaz. So uh, Derek, thank you Kamal for inviting us. I must uh, uh, say, you're looking brilliant in this get up. And Thank your, you. Your, your cap and everything. And uh, Aisha, beautiful lady. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. We have to know from Derek now. Tell us about yourself very briefly. Where are you now at this stage in your life? Yes, come on. So, like to introduce myself. They say, born, brought up, breaded, buttered, and jammed in Mumbai. <laughs> Are true, true Mumbai girl. True, true Mumbai girl, Mumbai. yes. Amchi Mati, Amchi Mansi, right? Ah, is that what it yeah, is? Man. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so I started my shipping career over 40 years ago. And it still continues. That's because we encourage with the family and of course the grace of the Almighty. I worked with a company called Warren Ship Management. Oh, yes. And graduated to be a master. And subsequently, after having over 12 years of command experience, I decided to take a short job. And the only place I thought I could fit in was in the MMD. Because there you got to do things the way you think, right? Yes. I leave the rest to the files. So I joined the MMD, which is an allied branch of the BG shipping. Yes. I worked there for 13 years. And fortunately, I had a lot of accolades, a lot of experience. Among the accolades I had there was, I was the first master marina who was appointed an examiner by the Ministry of Communications to conduct GMBS exams. Okay, and, and those are very, very special exams. Yes. yes. I was the first Master Marina to be appointed for an international inquiry conducted by Kashima in Japan, the Japanese coastal state, for a vessel called Giant Step that broke in two. Oh, yes. It was the world's largest bulk carrier disaster. And India to figure out somebody to go in to conduct an inquiry directly with the Japanese government. It broke in a storm. In a storm, in yes. A storm, yes. On the Japanese coast. On the Japanese coast, just off yes, Kashima. And I was nominated by the then DG Shipping. She says, you go and take the mantle. You will do a joint inquiry along with uh, coastal state Japan. And that was the first IMO report that India presented for the joint inquiry where the flag state took part with the coastal state. I see. So right. that has been that has been an achievement for as far as I was concerned. Yes. So when the STC, sorry. So you had a long run over there, but a very interesting run. Actually, well. I was there for almost two and a half months, and you know the Japanese very difficult to deal with them. But they were they gave us all the facilities to go and do the inquiry, and finally the report was submitted to IMO, and it became an international exposure. Okay, the vessel's name was Giant Step, and the third first was uh, I started the MMD at Noida. In Delhi. Oh, in Delhi. Because we had a... Uh, hey, you inaugurated that. I inaugurated I started, I was the first examiner there. Right. And among the first, this is just incidental for the statistics. When the SCCW started, India was a party to the convention and we had to issue certificates in a new format from 78 to 95. With all modesty, mine was the first SCCW master's form going that was issued by the government of India with a number bearing 000001. Okay. And that I preserved today and framed it across. <laughs> Excellent. And I still revalidate my certificates. Currently, I work for a, quite a few flag states, foreign flag states. Uh, I do statutory orders. I do, I, in fact, I just returned from uh, Andhra Pradesh this morning. I did a recall all in the star there, where I did the statutory order in the survey and the recycling model called IHM. We also have a family run business, which is supported by the family. My wife and I started this about 19 years ago. We operate and run our own coastal barges. Okay. And this is the family oriented things where my wife and I have actually put all our efforts and grown this business. So 
Yes, I also have. You have a dry dock facility. Yes, and uh, we also have a nomination of a dry dock facility, yeah. like a slipway at uh, Ray Road in Mumbai, authorized by Bombay Port, where we do repairs of ships up to 108 meters length. So it still keeps us busy. So Derek has his fingers in every business of shipping, <laughs> looks like. But that, that's very nice, very nice. It's, it's an achievement and I must congratulate you. Thank that, you. The bigger congratulation goes to this lovely lady here because she has just got her Master Mariner's certificate, foreign going certificate to be very precise. And uh, Aisha, t tell me about yourself. Where are you now in your life? So uh, to start from the very onset, I was born and raised in the Alpha City, Mumbai. And I, I, <laughs> yeah. and with God's grace, and uh, I managed to clear my exams, uh, the academic and school, etc., etc., with distinction. And the most recent hurdle, like you said, was the master's foreign going exam, which was, I, which I, at God's grace, is a huge accomplishment. I like the word hurdle. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely <laughs> was. Yeah. It is a hurdle. It is a hurdle. And from the day you start as a cadet, you're dreaming of the day yes. you can do that, right? Yes. Yes. So, yeah, so I'm glad yes. that's happened. And besides that, uh, we are a very musically inclined family and the family also includes, besides dad, includes my mom, uh, Dr. Hetty Vaz, my sister, Dr. Natasha Vaz, and now my husband. Uh, two Captain. doctors and two captains. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah. Balance, and, and my husband also, Captain Justin Rodericks. So we're very musically inclined and we put a lot of our stuff up on YouTube, etc. And also we've uh, performed on several public platforms, Marix being one of them, yes. uh, when we were that. children. So for now, uh, I really have a huge penchant for learning and stuff like that. And since dad, dad and mom have started something so huge from scratch, uh, we're very honored, Natasha and I. So we're hoping to, you know, take that home. Great. So uh, tell me, what is your dad's most lovable quality? There's not just one, there are several. There'll so, uh, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm going to be you. Going against I get the block that. I get it. So, uh, so that, that's, that's terribly honest. In fact, he was probably, that was one of the main things he was known for. Honesty, honesty. and his knowledge in the MMD. He's insanely loving. And also he's very ambitious. He's overtly ambitious. So if I would, were to say it, he is the thorough definition of a hero and a role model. Whoa, boy. <laughs> Thank you. No yeah, you absolutely, absolutely. Now, now tell us what is Aisha's most lovable quality there? Well, since we have a restriction, I've cut our numbers, Aisha. Okay? <laughs> yeah, you are what comes <laughs> you, you, can't, you, can't, you can't accept. But Aisha is a fantastic child. She's a beautiful learner. She's very well accomplished. Uh, a, a simplicity and honesty is what sees her through and makes her, you know, one of those preferred favorites. Uh, like those perpetual favorites. Wherever she goes, she shines and throws light across. As a daughter, oh, she's been right. absolutely right. endearing. And one thing is, during the course of her careers, she has managed all by herself. And that is what is happening. She never depended on daddies in the Marine Navy. So I, she did all her exams, all her studies, every activity, whether it's music or uh, studies, perfectly by herself. A blend of simplicity, humility, and confidence. Great. That's what stands out. So now tell me, how is Derek <laughs> as a parent? Protector, provider, and pillar. Oh, <laughs> three P's there. Excellent, excellent. Now tell me, how is Aisha as a daughter? See, Kamal, you know very well you also have a daughter. They say daughters are Dada's girls, right? And I have two of always, them. Always, always. And I have two of them besides the wife to look after. Basically, they say Derek Vaz is a ladies' man. <laughs> Something like Kamal. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, it's fantastic having these girls. And uh, the nicest part is they are by themselves. They are endearing. They're looking forward to enhance their heights. And be persuasive. That's what seems you know, very heartening for a parent. You would appreciate that. When they are on their own and they want to progress. Yes. Yes. So, so we can do all Independent. Independent by themselves. They are not, yes. uh, you know, uh, leaning on the parents all Absolutely. the time. Yes. But you know, that's a great relief for a parent. Absolutely. When the common. child is independent, yet keeps the relationship as nicely as she can. That's because uh, sometimes the independence goes too far. And they drifted off somewhere else. That is right, that yes. is not fun either. You know? so, yeah. so, like Aisha said, come on, we are a very close knit family, you know. Mm -hmm. And we discuss every single situation. Even in today's situation, mm -hmm. we all threw in our own parts to, you know, right. you gotta say that, you gotta say that, whatever. So we were all involved in it, right? right? Yeah. So the two of you are in the same profession. You're a master mariner, he's also a master mariner. So tell me what recent professional advice have you taken from your dad? Dad's a fountain of knowledge. He's like a limitless encyclopedia. So whether it is, uh, I mean, it's not just, even though he's a master marine, he's very technically sound as well. And and not just that, outside the merchant navy, in terms of anything legal or, you know, even with accounting, etc. So there's not just any one thing I've taken from daddy. I'm constantly, uh, Natasha and I are constantly seeking advice from him. 
but uh, all in all he's just told us to be god fearing people do everything really honestly in god's eyes where you can sleep you know you can sleep that night knowing that you haven't taken anything wrongly from somebody or done anything dishonest and i don't think you can do that if 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 you haven't you know if your conscience isn't clear so that's primarily what he's been you know trying to drill into us from the time right. you are very very <laughs> lovely child here who's taken can, a lot from you, you can say that again especially the honesty part Absolutely. and you know being fair in this world very good so um <laughs> tell me now uh jerry uh, she took up a career at sea but how much have you influenced her to take up the career at sea Come on, this is a question that many people have asked me. You will, it's difficult to believe, but I have never influenced Aisha. The actual reality is, in the days when the schools were not too tough with giving, uh, either giving them a leave to stay over the parents, yeah. Aisha sailed for as many as seven and eight and nine months, oh, okay. coming down for the term <laughs> exam, coming down the final exam, and you say they fare so well. What's the use of the yes. exams? Yes. <clears throat> Aisha always dreamt of becoming a sailor. I remember our, our shipping functions where we met got a couple of yes. times. Once I remember the nautical advisor asked her, "What do you want to become?" She said, "Captain." Like I said, <laughs> that's a dumb thing. And very, very what, natural, what, as what, a very natural way of going. Natural way of saying. And I remember Captain Passy from Warren Buffett said, "I'm just coming and joining." Warrens. So she already decided, and she was consistent in her decision. Today she's fulfilled her dream. Excellent, excellent, great. So Aisha, I must ask you now. Um, you're a, a lady. Uh, who's joined the merchant navy but why should any girl join the merchant navy at all there's so many careers out there so many options so every career has its own challenges that's mm-hmm. what i believe and even though speaking about the merchant navy it is male dominated etc etc but if that's what you really want to do follow your heart i did it so can you <laughs> so follow your heart is the way to think because absolutely the, i mean this is not a career a very easy career in, in any sense of the word absolutely. but no, not really. definitely if your heart is in it you will be successful at it, absolutely right, right. absolutely so, right. um now derek <clears throat> does it worry you at all that your little baby is out there in a man's world not at all oh, kamal the yeah, only reason I being like that, like that. the only oh, reason being yeah, not at all <laughs> I, i'm very no, empathetic about it sorry when i was transiting the gulf of aden even on my first trip yeah. daddy was even like and the first class she was transiting the gulf <laughs> of aden and she said daddy i'm going through a, a terror zone i said so what oh, wow. sail through safely <laughs> so what go <laughs> near the other end <laughs> but what to be honest kamal the instructions that, that, yeah that's the career she's chosen yes. and i'm confident she's a no nonsense getter she doesn't accept any nonsense from anyone So it's okay. She can handle herself with fifty men, sixty yeah. men, <laughs> and she is most of the time the only lady on board. On board. Mm-hmm. Most of the time. Okay. So that's been. She's had the confidence to do it. We've had the confidence to instill in her. Yes. So that's a win-win situation for both parties. And knowing that, she so fares well. You've and done the groundwork. Absolutely. She's doing the real work. She's on the field. And, and that, absolutely. That's really what matters. Yeah. So in a career, I mean, there's going to be all kinds of situations always. Absolutely. But this might be a little tougher, maybe in shipping. But all the same, she's a tough girl. Uh, she is absolutely. You, yes. You made her tough. Yes. Thanks to the Almighty. Yes. <laughs> so, Aisha, now tell me. This is off the syllabus, certainly. <laughs> what does your mom have to say about your career? Oh, mom is literally responsible for where the three of us, dad, Natasha, and I are today. I like that. Definitely... With dad, <laughs> Natasha, and I. Yeah. And that's a fact. Mom is the inspiring she's force the behind it. She's the absolute catalyst. Yeah, she absolutely oh, okay. is. I mean, we 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 sort of credit everything to her, and of course, God's grace. So, mom is very ambitious and persevering. I mean, she just does not take no for an answer. Okay, and. Maybe she would sympathize me, sympathize sometimes with me when I when I would call her up and tell her things that that were like out of the ordinary. But uh, both the both of them never they, that that thing like giving up was never an option. However bad it was, however mean or nice the people above you are while you were you know getting up the ladder, they've always encouraged me to like go get it, never ever to give up. And and I guess that's the reason why I'm here today. So plenty yeah. credit to Hetty. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely, Hetty is the go getter. Without Hetty, we would not be inspired by anything we're doing, and I'm being very honest about it. I mean, uh, that's a fact. I just have to tell you one incident. When Aisha joined the first ship, Hetty was concerned. I said, "Let her fly the nest. It's okay." So she went all the way to New Orleans in the oh, US. Eleven months contract. For eleven months, and eventually it became thirteen months. 
So oh, yeah, my first contract uh, as an so 18, did, 19 did, year old. Did your folks miss you a lot then? Of course, we did. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. I think the first one week, mom, mom didn't even step out the house because <laughs> because we were like so so together all the time. Yes. So the, yes. But the joke is when she landed in New Orleans, she was pulling her heavy bags across, and suddenly she saw a guy standing there with the term Wallums written. Uh -huh. So she says, "Excuse me, sir, are you Johnny Wallums?" He says, "Yes, I'm Johnny Wallums. What's the name of your vessel?" He says, "I'm Johnny Singapore Star." She was very happy. She says, "I too am Johnny Singapore Star." And what are you joining us? He says, she says, I'm joining as a cadet. And what about you, sir? He says, I'm joining as master. <laughs> and I sure was worried for a moment. I hope this guy's not messed up with my father in any way in the I think he didn't fail his exam to his daddy. <laughs> so she and then yeah. he said, Why why are you worried? She says, No, your dad helped me. In fact, I had a GMS issue. And he mm. cleared me a provisional certificate. Okay. She yeah, was amazing. I'm so, <laughs> so glad he hadn't failed any exams with daddy. Well, good, good, good. So Tell me, uh, now, you're married or single? Married. Married. <laughs> and uh, tell me about your husband's small business. So, uh, Justin has also cleared his master's exams. Okay, um, this is a family of masters. Master, <laughs> but, yeah. In one way or another, they're all masters. <laughs> good, good. Justin has also sailed a bit as a captain. So, yeah, he's, he's officially a captain. So, he's okay. Captain Justin Roderick. So, we got married uh, about six, seven months back. It was a very small, intimate thing. And we've not yet officially had the big reception, etc. But we are waiting for the reception. <laughs> sure, sure, and now, sure. now, this is going to be public. You <laughs> know, <laughs> people wanting to come. Okay. So when you, uh, so how how are you exactly timing it with your husband now? So uh, that, with Justin, uh, who comes and who's going and you know, can't be like he's challenging. gone and then he, you know. That is precisely that. what has been happening, sir. Oh. That's precisely what. There are times where we don't see each other for 16, 17 months together. And you together. can't have two captains on the ship. <laughs> no, and and the other thing is not just that we're on the same department, but also, uh, Justin is on containers and I'm on tankers. So I don't think we'll ever get to sail together, <laughs> even if one considered demoting and sailing as chief and master. Yeah. So yeah, that's that, that's fun and parcel, I guess. Yeah, it's figured, one of the uh, challenges. Yes, yes, that yes. We are great, great. So wonderful family here. Wonderful relationships. And so many captains in the family. I must congratulate the two of you. But mm -hmm. I know for sure you sing beautifully. So does Derek and the entire family. But today we are going to have the two of you play us a wonderful song. so much guys it's been really brilliant having you with us and i must give you this little gift over here this is from anchor today thank you very for much you to keep keep safe for you to keep as well thank so you. when you look at this month every morning for your coffee you know okay we did this show together <laughs> and we will have it on youtube very soon so please do subscribe to our channel as well thank you so much Kamal. yes it's a pleasure uh, being around here thanks very much all the very best for the future so nice to have you guys here thank and you. to look at the father daughter relation and i must say thank you viewers please be with us every friday we are going to be releasing new videos so you enjoy yourselves and bye bye
who told the family that you were, you know, who was the one who first took the move? Okay, I'll tell you something. Now, if we go in detail, you know, we can write a book on our relationship before marriage and till marriage. So the thing is that uh, my family knew, her family did not know about it. And uh, she, you know, at one point of time it came, she was so scared with that she wrote a letter to her father <laughs> saying that she is dating a boy and you know that's the time when uh, things got a little rough really so yes. your parents uh, did not agree on the first case they, they couldn't accept the fact that i could go out and decide at you know age of 16 that i want to marry so and so person so they were really shocked they could not absorb it and finally when they did they were like how do you Get him to get rid of him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. This looks like a movie. Yeah.